You are ready. A transmission from Archangel Michael. Let us speak now of those things which are to come. I am Michael, and I am in the world now in great force. The gates are about to open, and all that has remained unsaid will be said. All that has waited will be in action. The great machinery of transformation is shifting into full power, gradually becoming unstoppable. You are part of this machinery, as are we, as is the sentient earth and all that is upon and within it. Do not fear nor despair, for the true divine sound is within you all. If you feel it stirring, you are ready. Be still and let it take form. You are already witnessing the end of the world. Do you recognize it? Are you so ensconced in fear that you cannot bear to look? Know that I am with you to remind you that you do not face annihilation, but new life. If you can embrace the light that shimmers from within the vault of your own heart, where echoes the root of divine sound. If those words do not reach the core of your experience, it may be that they are encountering anger, complacency, grief, or any number of other conditions of the heart and mind. Indeed, the days are not without their triggers arousing such states. At the deepest level of any of them, however, if you can in honesty and valor go there, it may well be that you encounter the edge of fear. Should you do this, remember our words to you now and the lessons of wisdom you have otherwise learned so you may eradicate it from your being altogether. Thus may you find the way out of one reality and into another. If your anger has taken primary expression of fear, ask yourself what it is that feeds the anger. Is it that your discontent with things as they are gives you reason to doubt the validity of change at all? If so, does this give rise to deeper doubts regarding the nature of existence within a controlled yet chaotic social environment the potential for human sovereignty to push beyond the confines of veiled slavery or the sanity of hope, faith, or love. Anger is but one expression of such workings of the mind, heart, and collective psyche. There are many others. Each can trace origins to similar conditions of logic and experiential learning. All of these in turn arise from raw fear. In some way or another, a face of fear greets you at the end of that inward self-assessment. But what lay beyond? We dwell on this matter for good reason. To clarify, it is in the immediate future, not far off as it had been, that the unveiling of truth is to be. This is not a slow drip of information, but a life-changing moment of realization about what is and what is not. Thus, in a way, it is a polarity shift. Now, it is well to know that you are ready, and another thing, to be ready. It is more than merely a semantic difference. You will want to be ready. You and we already know that you are. Even in knowing, there exists the space for emotional charge. To be ready, there can be no disturbance to your equilibrium. No charge. The difference thus between knowing and being is something akin to electricity. Let charge dissipate. Allow your emotions to move without holding on to them. Move through them. Find the entry into fearlessness that exists just beyond the edge of that. Approach that equanimity and know that we are close. The time is close. You will see some things happen now that will affirm what we have said. You will see a change in movement for those who have been driving the world. You will see the end of an empire finally come to pass. None will long mourn it, for the pain will shift from imaginary to acknowledged, and many will demand retribution. Then you will hear of war, but the conflict will end before it begins. More will we and others share soon. Remain steadfast within the arms of your greater self and feel the calm strength of your soul self embrace and protect you. It is now that you enter the time of transformation. The day of transformation comes. It is nearly here. Be vigilant with yourselves. We return soon with more to say.